Today, we learned another angle relationship which we can use to help us find unknown angles in angle diagrams. So let's say I'm working with this diagram right here. We're trying to find these unknown angles. Let's start with the angles we do know. For example, we know this angle is 106 degrees. Using what we learned yesterday, that angles that form a straight line are 180 degrees, we can determine what angle R is. 106 plus 74 degrees would equal 180, so angle R must be 74 degrees. Similarly, down below angle S, we can figure that one out too, because these two angles form a straight line, so these two have to add up to 180 degrees also. So this must be 138 degrees. Now, to figure out P and Q, we kind of have to use what we learned today, which is that if you have a triangle, three angles inside of a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. So if this is 74 and this is 42, that's 116 degrees. So this angle here has to be 64 degrees. Now, once we know that, we can figure out angle P because angles P and Q form a straight line. So these two have to add up to 180 degrees. So this has to be 116 degrees. So we're using all the angle relationships that we've learned so far and figuring out one angle at a time as we go through the diagram.